Now, one thing I will admit is that a lot of Star Wars fans really seem to be very fed up with exactly how Kathleen Kennedy handled the sequel trilogy. There's no doubt in saying that, but one thing I really will say that a lot of fans are very certain of is that Star Wars really seems to be going in a more positive direction for the Star Wars fandom. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one great thing between George Lucas, Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and new creators coming on board over at Lucasfilm is that what they are really trying to craft is that they are really trying to give the Star Wars fandom something to enjoy in the next couple of years. And that's exactly what Disney Plus is for. This is going to be a destination for a library's worth of Star Wars content, be it TV shows in the form of animation or in live action form, and eventually even movies. There have been talks between Disney and Lucasfilm to eventually even throw in animated movies onto Disney+, Plus, kind of like that old, you know, Clone Wars film. Now, one thing about Star Wars is that we do know that, you know, George, John, and Dave, they're very passionate when it comes to Star Wars. They really want to bring things back to normal, back to the way things used to be before 2012, when Disney took over Lucasfilm and when George Lucas sold everything over to Disney and Kathleen Kennedy made false promises. So here we are, you know, we are approaching uh, the middle of November in just a couple of days from now, where we're getting closer to next year of 2021, which is going to be the year where this new universe is really going to pick up for a lot of Star Wars fans out there. However, what's really intriguing all has to do with the character of Luke Skywalker and how he will be handled by Disney and Lucasfilm for this new universe and this new mythology. Now, specifically, and this is huge, is that now that, the, now that the sequel trilogy is over, both Disney and Lucasfilm have been invested with their new Star Wars universe in order to, f order, in order to also focus more on this new Star Wars mythology in order to excite the Star Wars fans around the world. Now, it's explained that many changes are indeed being put into place for the Star Wars franchise starting this month and that Lucasfilm is in fact developing major retcons from multiple characters in this new EU. Now, it's said that Lucasfilm is getting ready to restart Luke Skywalker in a massive and positive way for the new Star Wars universe by introducing a brand new Skywalker that will be directly connected to Luke Skywalker in the new mythology. Now, it's said that Lucasfilm is indeed developing the son of Luke Skywalker to be a new focus in the new canon as well as the introduction of Mara Jade in order to reset Luke Skywalker's past and how they will be telling Luke's new past history of his life throughout his 20s and 30s and how much of it had to do with his son and wife that will indeed be inserted into the new Disney canon. Let me stop right here for a second is that this is a big deal. This is actually the biggest step forward by Disney and Lucasfilm to really fix the character of Luke. I don't know about you guys, but this is something that was really lacking within the sequel trilogy and within the overall Disney canon. So if you guys are not aware about Star Wars Legends, it's a big deal back in the 1990s and the early 2000s, is that we actually had the continuation of the Skywalkers. We had Ben Skywalker, we had Nat Skywalker, Cole Skywalker, Cade Skywalker, and others out there that have been unexplained. And everything that comes in between has also been pretty much mysterious. Now, this is exactly what they're trying to do. They're really trying to expand the Skywalker bloodline. We talked about a couple of weeks ago about how Cade Skywalker will indeed be reintroduced into the canon and how Kira Skywalker is going to be a brand new one. Those are going to be the children of Rey. They will actually serve as the post-sequel trilogy Skywalkers, where in this scenario, they're going to be delivering a brand new timeline that we have never seen before, mind you, that's going to dive more so into Luke's family, his wife and child. Now, this may very well seem like a desperate move by Disney, and George, John, and Dave are very well aware about that, and that's fine and all. Every fan out there has their own opinion, and that's perfectly okay. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. I, however, believe that this is the best way that you could really go, by introducing Luke's son in the form of live action, books, novels, comics, and more. 
This is all going to be on Disney+. Plus. Mind you, it's not going to be in theaters per se. But at the very minimum, they are going to be doing incredible things by continuing the Skywalkers in different ways. Another thing is that, you know, Luke and Leia will be used as eight-year-olds, give or take, in the Kenobi TV series. So that's another thing to look forward to. So, beyond all of this, it's described further that Luke Skywalker's son will be designed by John Favreau for the new universe, and that George Lucas will have tons of control over how Mara Jade will be utilized in the form of live action, and also in the form of books and novels, as well as comics. Many of these changes are set to be initiated by 2022, in order to reset the character of Luke Skywalker. However, the change has already been made by Disney and is already in the works in order to do incredible things with the franchise. Now, the major restart of Luke Skywalker will also give him some design changes in the new stories to be told, and that they are indeed planning to complete Luke Skywalker's sun design by mid-2021. I gotta admit, guys, I'm very impressed that they're moving things rather smoothly and how a large chunk of this new universe is really going to be established as early as 2022. Now, that's the big deal, is that this is going to take a lot of time and effort at the end of the day to really bring Star Wars to the level of success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I think that they can pull it off, obviously. It's going to take a lot of successful movies and TV shows in a row to really get it to such a level. But regardless, I think that we still are on the path to victory when it comes to Kathleen Kennedy and how she no longer has involvement and how also George, John, and Dave can really prove to the fans that Disney can do incredible things when it comes to Star Wars and they're going to set an example for that. That's their main mission. They want to bring back Star Wars legends. They also want to really satisfy the hardcore Star Wars fans. They know that the hardcore fans are what really make these things sell. So that's what they're trying to accomplish. Further, all right, it's described that they actually have a story planned in place to tell the story of the tragedy of Luke's son and wife and why they are not in the sequel trilogy and how all of this will be told. So that's another thing is that they're going to really try to tell the fans why Luke's wife and child are actually not in the sequel trilogy. Now, that's one thing that I think a lot of fans will have a problem with is that they're going to introduce these fan favorite moments of Star Wars Legends, but they're going to have a spin on it by creating the tragedy of Luke's wife and child. I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans are going to take this. I will admit, I'm really not quite sure about that. We'll have to wait and see, you know, how the fans will react to this in the next couple of years. But regardless, I think that they know what they're doing, and I think that they're going to do it in a very smart way. And that's all that really matters. Now, Luke's son is said to be a very powerful character as far as Mara Jade. There are plans to attach her story to Palpatine in a fun way into his resurrection within the sequel trilogy movies. Dave Filoni, surprisingly, will also be handling how Luke's story will be told between his wife and son, and that this will give fans a massive different view as to why Luke is so bitter in The Last Jedi. Now, once again, I'm not quite sure if fans are going to be impressed by that, how they're going to tie directly into how the tragedy of his wife and child uh, will tie directly into how and why he is acting the way he is in the sequel trilogy. Now, it just doesn't have to do with Ben Solo. They want to make it more than that. Nonetheless, it seems like that they really are trying their absolute best to make Luke's son a success. Lucasfilm is well aware that this decision may be controversial to some Star Wars fans and may even make them appear desperate. However, they are very passionate of what they are developing in order to make Star Wars back to the way it used to be in 2011, before Disney took over everything. They plan to resurrect a big chunk of Star Wars Legends as well. So, Star Wars Legends, guys, I love it. The fact that it's coming back in different ways possible. Uh, I think that a lot of fans are really going to respect that, while, the other, while other fans are really going to pretty much, you know, kind of ignore that. And that's pretty much just a given, honestly. So, yeah, guys, you know, like I've said before in the past, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.